Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through threads. So what are the basic threads? It is not thread guys, it is threads, the problems or the attacks. So what are the types? So there are two types of threads that is nothing but program thread and the system thread, system thread. So these are the two types of threads where the program thread is really simple to understand and system thread is also easy. But please try to remember the examples guys because it's really important fine okay so program thread so when any prop any program created by user is used by another user then misuse of program may occur so when you created a program so some other user tried to enter and he successfully entered and he is using your program now and he is misusing the program then in this position this is called this is what we call it as a program thread so there are a few popular program thread like trojan horse trapdoor stack buffer overflow so trojan horse is nothing but that sits idle and transmits all your user information to the attacker so it starts transmitting data your data to the attacker like your usernames passwords and everything so that is trojan horse trojan horse sorry so similarly we are having system threads System threads are very popular nowadays, which we call as virus and worms. So basically system threads. In this OS files or resources are misused. Like we will be, when we install operating system in C drive, mostly we will be installing in C drive, in program files and everywhere there will be many folders which are hidden and they are very restricted. We cannot even open few files. So the hackers or anyone can access this. But the hackers basically use the viruses and worms to get into our systems guys. So the concept of worms and viruses comes into play. So worms, worms are nothing but they will not damage your system. They will reduce the system utilization. That is nothing but they will be running in the background and they will be making your system to run slow. So worms, they replicate themselves. That is nothing but they form duplicate. One worm becomes two. These two worms become these two and these two. This, they become four, like eight, sixteen. Like that, they duplicate themselves, themselves, themselves. Okay? And they contain a dangerous code that may damage our operating system files. But they do not cause any direct damage. Instead, they consume lot of system resources, thus denying the services of user. So your system usually, it will struck, right? When you are opening multiple files or multiple browser tabs or anything, it may struck for a minute second. So that is because of this worms, basically. These are the things which whatever you antivirus you may use, these worms will exist, guys, basically. So virus. So virus. Virus are the small programs written by return to alter the way a computer operates. So these viruses can change the way how your computer is operating. So they can change the execution permissions and they can execute without the user permission. They can open files, they can transfer data, they can copy files, they can do anything they want. And these viruses can also be re replicating themselves. Fine. So there are four stages for viruses guys. So basically they will be in dormancy stage. Dormancy is nothing but dormancy stage is nothing but the virus initially will be staying in the system and it will monitor everything else. It will not react or it will not do any operation. It will be just sitting in the system at some random place and it will be monitoring everything. And the second stage will be propagation. Propagation is the place where the infection starts. It starts trying to trying to it will try to attach or it will try to attack some programs. So starts attempting to inter interact with other programs or interface with other programs. So then comes the trigger. Trigger is nothing but the medium between the propagation and damage. Fine. So damage. Damage is nothing but at the place where at which the file is damaged now. So this is the final stage at which it will damage the file and still the virus exists. It will not die once it is done. It will also exist and it will try to do the same process again and again. Fine. Okay, so now I hope everyone got a small idea on system threats and program threats. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through the cryptography. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.